Gaming Overdose presents Top 5 Worst Games of 2016. Number 5. The Division. Tom Clancy's Division was a promising game at E3, but full of lies and disappointment at launch. The general release was full of bullet sponge enemies, repetitive missions, and a lackluster PvP arena. The game did see a resurgence with the release of world tiers, better loot drops, and more to do with the underground DLC. But the game still suffers from lack of frame rate stability, bugs, and a half assed PvP arena. But this is a Ubisoft game, so I'm not surprised. Number 4 Far Cry Primal. Ubisoft is back to taking L's with this full game that just felt like a boring DLC expansion. Far Cry Primal was just another example that Ubisoft can be trusted. The graphics was poor, the story was a snooze fest, and the combat system was just horrible. Far Cry Primal is just Far Cry 4 where all the fun stuff, you know, like guns. Number 3 Recore Recore was definitely a bad step in the wrong direction. Nothing about Recore says play me. The graphics was piss poor along with the story and gameplay. Xbox made it seem like Recore was going to be a console seller but it was actually the opposite. Number 2 Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Well, where do I start? This game was a complete travesty. Call of Duty hasn't made a good game since Black Ops 2. After three games full of jetpacks and robots, Call of Duty thought it would be a good idea to take their jetpacks and laser guns into space. It wasn't. The game suffers from lack of optimization, bad love design, and a story that felt like a last minute add-on. All in all, the Call of Duty brand is in shambles and I don't see it getting better anytime soon. Number 1 No Man's Buy I mean No Man's Try No, No, No Man's Sky Hello Games should close its doors for good after this tragedy No Man's Sky was a game full of so many lies that the only good thing about it is the $9 GameStop gives you for trading it in Hello Games Sean Murray went into hiding after all the lies he told about the game created an uproar in the gaming community the space simulator struggled in every way imaginable, from frame rates to mission structure or even having a clear objective. Even Hello Game Sean Murray came out of hiding to tweet that No Man's Sky was a mistake. No Man's Sky was out of doubt the worst game of 2016. What is your top 5 worst games of 2016? Comment them below. And when you're done, drop a comment or subscribe if you haven't. I'm Teddy from Gaming on D and this has been another Gaming Overdose Presents. Thank <laughs> you.